You're listening to the Incomparables Total Party Kill podcast in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 201, posted August 2019. Awkward Alligator. Welcome back to Total Party Kill. I'm your Dungeon Master, Tony Sindelar, and this is Dragon Forge and Associates, the podcast where we answer the question, when is a statue not a statue? When it's murdering you! Uh, previously on Total Party Kill, cut off from the rest of their friends, uh, Dragon Forge and Associates, or half of them at least, Melek, Rizwin, and Peter, uh, have uh, <laughs> set up a temporary alliance with some lizard folk uh, in the form of Shistek and Kroka. They've been exploring Undermountain, traversing swamp and hallway when... A statue-like creature uh, attacked Rizwin, dealing a considerable amount of damage. Let us meet our players already in the thralls of battle. Let's start with our special guest stars. Brian Hamilton, welcome to the podcast. I'm Shtek, there's a statue, and I have some interesting roles to make as soon as the introductions are over. You've already attacked and missed, but perhaps your lucky sword will help you be lucky? Uh, also, lizarding it up, it's Jane Ritt. Hi, I'm a lizard folk, and I don't have a magic sword. You have an alligator, which is like a magic sword, if you don't understand what alligators are. In uh, every way that counts. <laughs> also here, uh, regularly occurring guest, uh, Jason Snell. Hello, I am Peter Dragonforge, human paladin, and I also have a magic sword, since we're talking about our magic swords. Mm -hmm. Also here, but without, to my knowledge, an alligator or a magic sword, it's Sarah Barbour. Welcome. I'm... Thank you. I'm playing Rizwin. Uh, I have a magic hammer, and I also am a little too hungover and realized I probably shouldn't have touched that statue. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, it's Monty Ashley. Neither an alligator nor a magic sword, to my knowledge. Nope. I am Melek, the tiefling wizard. I do have a magical orb and also a cool thing called a blast scepter, which we got a oh, couple episodes ago and i stuck in my bag will i ever use it who knows Depends find out next if time you... on total party <laughs> yeah this is a short one everybody bye <laughs> we're just listing All our right, possessions we... right <laughs> Yes, I've got yes, that's armor. We, yeah, we start off every session listing all of our items on our character sheet. Let's Inventory. discuss how many feet of rope we have, everybody. <laughs> also, I'm that, out of rope. I now know that if uh, an alligator has a skin problem, it might be an alligator. Mm. Yeah. Hey, who are you calling an alligator? He <laughs> didn't Tony, mean that Tony's literally. Fault. It was just an alligator. -y. Oh, Oh, God, I knew someone was going to make that joke. <laughs> you were objecting partway through it, which took all the pressure off me for figuring out how that word ended. Well, it was it just made it feel like I it hurt in my head as I thought about it, and then it hurt again when you did it. So <laughs> Tony, take like, five points of psychic damage. Uh, <laughs> look at me. Right. Look at me. I'm the DM now. <laughs> oh no! Are you, this is this is a curse, not a reward. You're welcome. Uh, Sustek, you had just stabbed at the thing, and technically your turn is over. But I think you're going to do something because you are clever. I have a daily power which lets me re-roll a missed attack with this here ding dang sword. So I'm going to make another roll against the mimic and not drop the dice. Uh, no re-rolling that. Okay, that is a twenty-eight versus AC. Yeah. You stab the mimic in where its heart would be, or its mimic of a heart, or I don't know, it's a statue with a thing. Let's say you get it real good. Excellent. That's 10 damage from a sword. Do you get to do your duelist stance thingy or no? I do not because it has to be the only, I have to be the only creature within melee range uh. of it, and it's grabbing Rizwin. So, uh, Shistek has identified this strange uh, statue with pseudopods as a mimic. Uh, a mimic is a very dangerous lurker creature that lives in the dungeons, depending on how much total party kill you've already seen one of these eat Dan Morin. Uh, it can take on the shape of various objects, the classic mimic uh act is the chest that's the greatest hits uh sometimes you know you got your like mimic in training and it just does a door this is clearly an advanced mimic who has taken on the most dangerous form possible that of a statue uh this is all <laughs> my hints to you that this mimic is real bad news you may wish to uh open up some of your uh your pretty powerful attacks that you had been saving uh basically i say all of this so that it's your fault when you die and not mine uh hmm. Yeah, not your friend. I'm just a dungeon master. Um, so, Kroka, speaking of not my friend, it's not my friend, my friend Jane Red. How are you? 
What? Wow, rude, <laughs> rude DM. Okay, well, things are um, real now. Friendship, just, friendship was in the hallway. This is in the room where there's a statue that's a mimic that's gonna eat you. Okay, well, because of that, I'm gonna have my alligator bite your statue. <laughs> that's that's fair. Yeah, that's what it happens. Doesn't... Break its teeth when mm. you're rude to your guests. So I think I all right. We may be getting into some level of physics that I don't understand. Uh, I mean, the, basically, a mimic is this kind of like. It's a shape changing aberrant thing. So, mm-hmm. like, it looks like stone, but it's not stone, right? So, I don't think the. So, because I, I, I don't know. I imagine it's kind of got like a, like a silly putty kind of feel to it. Um, right. Yeah. Well, um, you know, Bash can manipulate rope in his jar. Yeah. So, I'm going to say he can make this work too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, that'll be an 18 versus AC. Uh, That will not hit. I'm just going to tell you now, because it's the only uh, adversary in the room, the AC of the Mimic is 23. Yikes! It is is dangerous. Okay, uh, then, let's see. Let me just see if I have any mine. Mm, Nope. So I think I'm just going to move over this way, and yeah. That's me. All right. So, uh, moving along. Melek, you are in the shadow of the statue that is not a statue. I, that, you're near it. I take out this cool thing called a blast scepter. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> How, what does that do to things near the statue that you're blasting? Just out of, I don't know. Have you read the instructional manual on this? I don't Interested think, parties want to know. I yeah. don't think you gave that to us. Is that just a stick of dynamite? It is a bronze rod with dragon head with glittering eyes on either end. It's one of many powerful tools crafted in Netheril. So, this rare ancient device is one of the most unpleasant legacies of lost Netheril. Yeah. Uh, it's an implement. It's a rod or a wand. Uh, <laughs> when holding this implement, you have resist 10 fire and resist 10 lightning. It has an attack that would theoretically, uh, as a daily action, stun uh, the, uh, the the creature that gets hit by it. Um, it. It can also do. Uh, I mean, it it can also you know you can use it as a rod or wand to channel various magical attacks. Uh, it also has a special um, uh, thunder damage uh, uh, attack that it could do. I've just taken a screenshot of this, and I'm going to put that into Slack for you, Monty. Okay. Uh, so I hold, I reach into my bag, and I hold it aloft, and it, it kind of goes slow motion for a second. Oh, as, no. <laughs> as we Chariots see... Chariots of Fire starts playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and... And... And boy, it, it looks cool. And man. Oh, hang on. <laughs> and oh. I look at what the is stat happening? block. Ma- Ma- Malik needs to check his smartphone for his stat block, <laughs> and I'll I can add that to your character sheet if I remember to do that. All right, so it's oh, it attaches creatures blast three. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm going to walk around one, two, three. Mm-hmm. So that way, and position I... yourself so that you're not <laughs> hitting everybody with a wave of thunder. Is right. that what you're doing? Now I'm just, I should be hitting him, but yeah. not everyone else. Mm-hmm. And I will use this attack power here. Uh, close blast three, intelligence, constitution, or charisma, plus the Whichever scepter's enhancement. Better. What's the mm-hmm. scepter's enhancement bonus? What level is plus this? Two. Plus two. Plus two. And I will be using intelligence, so I have a plus nine. Versus reflex twenty nine. That is a critical hit. Oh, Roll the twenty. Wow. All right. Just for future reference, the reflex of this mimic is twenty four. Mm. Uh, so you super hit, which Ba-boom. is a technical term. Um, so uh, this does a well. So first off, it will do max damage. No um, big deal. It, it does nothing. Oh, this okay. is a lousy ability. Why did I bother with this? Well, the big thing is because it is currently attached to Rizwin, and you're going to knock it across the room and free Rizwin. Okay, yes, that's why I did it. <laughs> Instead of just doing so, magic missile, which does more damage. Yes, because it pushes the mimic uh, across the room. Yeah. Uh, that breaks the grab. 
Um, it does Thank not you. do a ton of damage because it just does five, right? Because it's yep. you're doing this thunder power that it's got. Yeah. Um, I assume you want to push it as far as you can. Yes. Uh, it does, does that provoke that it, an attack of opportunity from me, who is no, right next to it? because it was forced to do it. Okay. It would have to have done it of its own choice. Uh, Malik, it also looks like it does do a small amount of bonus damage on a crit, which you just rolled. So I think you get uh, 2d8 force damage. Uh, oh, there it is. It's a critical plus 1d8 force damage per plus. So yes. Roll 2d8. Please enjoy these extra nine points of damage. Uh, the, the statue seems nonplussed by that. Uh, all right. Uh, and most importantly, you have gotten Rizwin free, uh, since that was real bad. Also, it occurred to me that uh, Rizwin is your healer. If a statue murdered Rizwin yep. first, the rest of you would also be in super troubles. And I will uh, spin the scepter around like an old-timey gunslinger spins his six shooters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it. What is the... I sent you a picture of it, right? Yeah. It's like you hold yeah, that's it, it and there's Isn't there a dragon things. at each end of it? I'm just saying yeah. that seems dangerous. Okay. Sure is, and I'm doing it anyway. Well. All right. <laughs> Peter. Peter uh, looks down at his sword and uh, says a, a brief prayer to Bahamut. That is, uh, that is bless weapon, a daily minor action, and then charges the mimic. Mm hmm. Which means I get to do Arden Strike. That's a tw uh, 27 versus AC. That'll hit. Um, that is 10 damage. Mm hmm And, uh, as a, as a result of that, it is also now, um, under my divine sanction and must attack me or take, uh, damage. It will be happy to attack you. I'm I may sure have it will. a logistical question about that in a bit, but yes, for now. Oh, it is oh sorry. I, uh, I made a mistake because I blessed my weapon. Uh, I have to give you. <laughs> 10 didn't seem seem like a lot. Right? I have to give you an additional five damage. You have to. I have to. I must. It's the rules. All right. Uh, Rizwin, you are no longer being eaten by a statue. Yay. That's great. Um, gosh, where was this? Uh, I think as a dwarf, can you take. Uh, you could theoretically do a uh, second wind as a minor action. Am I making up dwarf rolls? I, no, you can. I can use my second wind as a minor action. Uh, but point of order: uh, mm -hmm. Do my temporary hit points from last encounter are they still around? They would have gone away. They would have gone away. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I did that. Really, right like minutes. in the hallway, they went away. Yep. After yeah. a couple minutes, they go away. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going. They're to... real temporary. It's in the name. <laughs> I, I'm I'm going to use my. Dwarven Resilience is a minor action, mm -hmm. uh, which gives me nine hit points back, which means that I'm no longer bloodied, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, I am also, um, gosh, Duh. I also gain a plus two bonus to all defenses till it's my next turn, thanks, second mm -hmm. wind. Um, and I am also going to... Hmm. Did we determine that? Uh, I guess define implement. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna sacred flame this. Um, okay. Because I don't feel like getting close to it. Uh, that, I mean, it did try to eat you, so that's a, <laughs> a natural reaction. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, twenty versus reflex. Uh, that will not hit the reflex of the mimic. It kind of like shudders out of the way and then back into place. It's very unsettling. Mm mm mm. Okay. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. Um, well, I guess that was my, that was a standard action and a minor and I'm not feeling like moving. Um, so I may be done for now. Al, you know what? I'm going to, uh, cast my daily, uh, Shield of Faith. Oh, tell um, us about Shield of so Faith. We haven't seen that in a while. It is a it is a burst five, um, mm -hmm. and every ally in the burst um, That's everybody gains. Everybody gets a plus two power bonus to AC until the end of the encounter. Whoa! Oh, that's Ooh. awesome. Thank wow. you. That's a daily. Everyone's yeah, got that noted. Yeah. Uh, yes. <clears throat> so, and I am. Well, that that was actually a minor action, so I can't actually take two minor actions, right? 
you cannot. Or did you move? You didn't move, so you could use a minor for your move. I will use a minor for my move. Yeah. Cool. Then, yeah, every day is plus two to AC. All right, everybody, remember that. Wow. That's a big deal. So, uh, it will be especially a big deal, Riz, when you're all set, because the mimic is next. This weird, hulking, statue-like pile of something is lumbering in front of you, Peter Dragonforge, and, you know, your sword is, like, actually still kind of, like, lodged in it. Um, it is, what will it do? It could do a variety of things. I think while you're right in front of it, um, it is going to, uh, well, you know what? Here's what it's going to do first. It's going to wallop you in the head with a pseudopod. Okay. That is a pretty good roll. That is a 29 versus AC. That will hit. That's 12 damage. You just get hit in the head by, like, a part of a statue. Uh, you are grabbed. And the mimic is going to spend an action point, like, the front of the statue kind of, like, unhinges, and there's suddenly these, like, slathering jaws, uh, and it is trying to uh, drag you into them. And the uh, jaws are not where the head of the statue is, right? Oh, like, no. Like, like, out of the torso or something? Like yes. a yellow submarine? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I was thinking more like The Thing, but yes. Oh, sure. It's, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My favorite Beatles album, The Thing. The Thing. <laughs> <laughs> critical fail 13 versus AC uh, I guess you like get your feet in there and like keep it from closing Peter uh, but I choke? will tell you uh, it you know no it's just it's just it's Aww. just more excited that uh, it probably hasn't had a good fight in a while um, Peter I will tell you because you have recently hit the mimic uh, with its sword here's the thing that you've discovered because so far no one has uh, it got pushed before I think this has come up again uh, the mimic is incredibly sticky it's super gross um, <laughs> if you hit the mimic with a, uh, a melee attack um, the weapon is stuck to the, uh, to the mimic, uh, yeah. until you make an escape check. Ooh. So just as a mention to you sword users out there who, you know, are inconvenienced. So, uh, Shistak, that would have been you, except then the mimic got pushed. So I'm just, uh, you know, okay. it is now your turn. You notice that the, your, your sword is maybe sizzling a bit with, you know, acid or whatnot. Well, that's not good. I'm going to do a ranged attack with a dagger and throw my dagger at the mimic. All right. <laughs> that's a critical fail, which is still 11 versus AC. Now, yeah. now the mimic is holding a dagger. <laughs> oh, no. The mimic catches the mimic it. Dagger. And, and it catches it in the pseudopod and waves it around menacingly. <laughs> and then it just kind of absorbs the dagger. <laughs> well... <laughs> We tried, everyone. <laughs> Did All we? right. <laughs> All right. Time to leave Peter to his fate. <laughs> Kroka, um, will you be the first to retreat? Or Shastak, do you want to retreat first? I'm going to move over this way a few squares. Okay. Are you sure? To maybe you're get... moving. What? I'm just saying there's lovely exits in this room if you just wanted to leave and wash your hands of this whole situation. I mean, I absolutely considered that. But at this point, I want my dagger back. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> In for a penny, in for a dagger. Got it? Yep. That's my turn. <laughs> I want my dagger back, dagger back, dagger back. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Forge that ribs. That wasn't a funny joke. Why am I laughing? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Objectively Croca. funny. Lizard. Lizard people. <laughs> here with lizard people. Mm. What? What? And an alligator. <laughs> and a mimic. Let's get rid of this mimic. Okay. Um, mimic so suck. <laughs> I'm going to surround the mimic in a zone of swarming locusts. It's always, uh, always with the locust with you. Yeah. Well, it'll give people a uh, combat advantage, and this bad boy is real hard to hit. So hopefully yeah, that'll yeah. help us out. Um, so that's going to be a uh, 21. Versus reflex. So reflex is twenty four. Is this doing wow. any effect? Um, yeah, the effect is the zone of swarming locusts uh, that lasts until the end of my next turn. Um, and while enemies are within the zone, they grant combat advantage. Okay. So, so the locusts aren't um, biting it. Maybe Buzzing even them. locusts aren't um, especially tempted by whatever <laughs> is going on with that flesh. Statues, yeah. 
Yeah, but it's at least making it easier to hit him. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I will remind people that you do have action points. Um. Yeah. No. All right. Melek, the most magical tiefling present. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, let's see. Again, I don't really do great with single enemies. I always take a moment to look at my spells, and then I end up saying... Yeah, you're very into creating zones or tricking people into attacking their friends. Yeah, this, <laughs> this mimic doesn't have any friends. He's also, this mim- yeah, he's well, he's very confident though. So, also, you're not like that text. robot scorpion, yeah. Um, maybe that was his only friend, we don't know. Wow, but I would I'm- watch a, a, an animated web series about a mimic and a robot scorpion who solve crime, <laughs> cause crime, and then solve it. I don't, it's well, we, we have some things to work there. Out. Anti- <laughs> comparable <laughs> membership to make this animated series happen. <laughs> uh, I am going to cast Maze of Mirrors. A burst one in the same place where all those insects are. It'll look real mm-hmm. cool then. Mm-hmm. And this is uh, intelligence versus will. So I will just roll d20 plus nine. A uh, total of 27 versus this mimic's will. That will hit the mimic's will. The target is immobilized and takes a minus four penalty to attack rolls until the end of my next turn. All right, Yay. that's going to be a big deal because that means he will have a much harder time hitting all of you. That was my plan. Yes. Okay. Does it? It doesn't do damage. It just totally nerfs it. Basically, it, ju- it is just a uh, effect. No all damage right. at all. But now there's mirrors everywhere and insects, and it looks cool. Yeah, it's like a kaleidoscope. Oh yeah. god, a horrible kaleidoscope. A janky, Locus. gross kaleidoscope. <laughs> yeah, Locusts weird. and mirrors. <laughs> We are Locust Kaleidoscope. We're from Somerville, Massachusetts. Ah, uh, er- everybody loves a kaleidoscope. <laughs> it looks like an acid trip in a movie made in the 60s. Oh, yes. God. It's like a kaleidoscope full of locusts and like a soupy statue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and sometimes I don't, I don't like the that. locusts look huge because they're also funhouse yeah. mirrors, I just decided. Yes. <laughs> uh, Peter Dragonforge, um, you have your sword <laughs> stuck to the mimic. Um you need to make an escape check, which is athletics or acrobatics, to get the sword out of the mimic. Oh boy! Which you may, unless you don't want to do something that's not sword related. No, I, I do, I do. I want to do something very sword related. Uh, what do I need to make for this uh, escape uh, check? Ten. It does not. T- it does not tell me. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, also, you yourself are attached to the mimic because it hit you. Right. So, good times. Um, I'm going to say that you need to get... It's real sticky. Uh, I'm going to say you need a 19 athletics check to get it unstuck. What's your athletics score? Zero. Uh, <laughs> you're kill- you're killing about, me here. I'm going to say you need a 15 to get it unstuck. All right. <laughs> also, let me tell you about some of those javelins you got. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, Dice we'll can. see. Dice that'll can. be, that'll be next. I rolled a 14... So close. I will use my heroic effort. And oh, now it's an eighteen. You, you, I, why do humans get heroic effort? And nobody else. Nobody else is a is a hero. We're nobody else best. makes an effort. Um, <laughs> you know what? It just smacks a hero them. comes along. And now just, I am going to okay. righteously so smite clear that this, humans uh, designed this jerk. game. <laughs> it's because humans are boring, and no one would play them if they didn't get bonus advantages. Twenty nine versus AC, Tony. Yes. All right. What are you doing to it? You're hitting it oh, with sorry. your sword. Sorry. Uh, thirty versus AC. Yes, <laughs> I am hitting it with a righteous smite. All right, nice. that's great because your sword's gonna get stuck to it again. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, seven, ten, fifteen, twenty-one. Uh, is that all I get? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> that's, all right. I don't know. That's a all lot. Right. I got twenty-one damage. Also, all of my allies all of whom are within five squares of me, now get seven temporary hit points. Whoa! Everybody note, seven temporary hit points. You'll need them. All right, I'll put those right next to my two bonus uh, AC. And, oh, Tony, vulnerable to radiant damage is a special thing, right? Yeah. 
that it is not it's just it gets damage yeah. as damage okay good because i have even more things that happen then and i think uh what save, happens, save that for the vampires uh i think <laughs> what happens next is that i am going to uh take my action point mm-hmm. i guess i need to unstick my sword again yep also you yourself are still stuck to this but i guess you're mainly focused on making your sword not be stuck to it yeah <laughs> 16 so it's unstuck right. <laughs> oh so gross that's right people i invented a statue that is made out of super glue and made you fight it <laughs> i mean i Thanks, didn't invent it, right. but i but i brought it into the world for you i'm uh, i'm like I'm... lizard and you're like glue what you say bounces off of me and <laughs> oh god my sword i'm i'm gonna i'm just i'm emptying it all out here uh taking another daily this is the majestic halo wow that's 22 versus AC. Do you have an action to do this? This is my, oh, my action point is, is do I not get the whole turn? I only get to unstick on my action point? The action point is an action, not a whole turn. And unsticking is an action of yeah. a sword? Really? Yep. All right, yep. I'll wait then. Okay. <laughs> right, my sword is it's unstuck. An it's, I remain stuck. It's an stuck. action point, not a turn point, people. My, well, fine, <laughs> whatever. I think you're cheating. He says he says as if he never made that mistake himself. <laughs> it's an action point, not an action line. Yeah. Okay, well then uh, my sword is unstuck for next time. Yeah. Rizwin, you're across the dungeon room. Peter is fighting a disgusting mimic. You're still not quite bloodied. You've got some temporary hit points. You've got an elevated armor class. How's life? Uh you know, it's a lot better than it was uh last turn. Um so I may have had a misunderstanding of Dungeons and Dragons. I thought you could only use one daily per day, or can you use any of these. You can use all your dailies. Once? You can use once all your day. dailies. If, but you can only use a daily once a day. But you can use if you have multiple dailies, which you may you have. Can empty them all out now you could, if you want. Yeah, there's sounds there, you, great. I yeah, can't. I not everybody has uh, multiple dailies. dailies. I... Okay. Uh, yeah, you have hmm. two, right? You've got Moment of Glory and Shield, and Shield of, Faith. of Faith. I do. Yeah, you could do those both now if you wanted. Uh, I could. So, uh, Peter, you're still uh, attached to the statue, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Moment of Glory uh, in uh, Burst 5, so that hits everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, the statue mimic is pushed uh, three squares and knocked prone. If you hit it. Uh, if I hit it. Um, yes. And uh, everybody gets in the blast, gets a resist five to all damage until the end of our next turn. And that's wow. whether you hit or not, because that's an effect, that's right? Exactly. Uh, okay, what is so sustain that's minor, the... by the way? Uh, I think that would mean you would need to keep a minor action to uh, uh, maintain that. Ah, I oh, see. It, cool. So, so I can it maintain says, that throughout says, the entire encounter. Yes. Yeah, at the cost of a minor action. That's a big deal. That's a big power. Yeah. 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 And you get that effect whether you... Uh, uh, hit or not, but hitting it would be great because you could break the grab, right? Hitting it would be awesome. All right, uh, here I go. Uh, uh, seventeen versus Will. Oh wait, this uh, eighteen versus Will. I think it's still a little bit higher than that. It's a very willful statue mimic horrible thing. Uh, it so is you, granting it, it, combat it advantage. Did Jane? Did you say something? It is granting combat advantage. It's granting combat advantage that gets you to twenty. The will of the mimic is twenty-two. Does anyone have, are there any other numbers that we're forgetting? Uh, I only gave bonuses to AC. Right. All somebody... right. Hmm. Damn. Well, the mimic will resist your moment of glory, but um, you and each ally in the blast. Um, so it's a blast five. Can you put everybody in that blast five? Probably right. It's not that big a room. Uh, I mean, if I center it on me, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, they all, all of your friends get that resistance. So you get what was it? It was resist five. Resist, resist five. So uh, five. So that means that uh, that negates the uh, damage that the mimic does to Peter, right? Yeah. Every time, any time I hit any of you, you subtract five from the damage. And the mimic is doing things where it's hitting people multiple times per turn. It's per hit. Yep. Great. So, oh. Okay, cool. That's a so big that deal. was that There's was a, a reason that's your daily. So yeah. Our, yeah. That was a standard. Uh, and our armor I'm class going... also went up too, right? So we've got both of those uh, things yes. going for us. Yeah. And right now it has minus four to hit anybody. 
Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, I'm going to cast Favor of the Gods on Peter, so you can reroll uh, whenever you want to. Um, but before the end, end of my next turn. Oh, yeah. Um, I got, I'm going to use that daily power, so now I can reroll it. That's good. Uh, great. Um, and then I don't believe I have anything else to do. Uh, that was a lot. Yeah. That was a lot. Yeah. I'm All right. The mimic is next. Uh, the mimic is going to shift out of the horrible. The mimic is immobilized. <sighs> the mimic is immobilized. The mimic I did wants, that. The, the mimic wants to shift out of the locust swarm. <laughs> if well, it, it not can't. Grown, it couldn't even stand up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it was really gonna. It was really gonna rough you all up before you killed it. Does it? Does it not like being surrounded by mirrors and locusts? <laughs> no, it does not. Can't relate. Can't uh, relate. Uh, oh, I, I, yeah, no. Oh, well. Hmm. <laughs> it's gonna try and eat Peter. Might have started the attack. Oh. What's the point? <laughs> oh my gosh, Peter! I got. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's do all the math together. Uh, so that would be 14 versus AC, but because of uh, the mirrors, it's minus four. So it's 10 versus AC. Yes, and my AC is 23, <laughs> would be, but it's actually 25. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, mimic buffs. The mi somehow the strange statue th form that has grown pseudopods <laughs> looks sad. So, <laughs> Oh god, I don't want to lose my sword, but it's my most powerful thing, and I did really bad with the dagger last turn, but I'm gonna try it again anyway. That's a 21 versus AC. The plus AC two. plus two gets plus you to two. 23, which is the AC of a mimic Heck inside yes. a cloud of locusts. <laughs> One D4 plus six damage. That is ten damage. I got a four on my D4. Where does the How plus two come from? Um, granting combat advantage. Oh, combat advantage, right. Yeah. Mm, uh, wow. Just an academic question, Brian. How mm. many daggers do you have? Multiple. All right. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, you have one less. So. <laughs> Some daggers. Body once. <laughs> no. All right. Sistek, do you want to do anything else? Uh, now we're talking no, I'm, I'm feeling really good about hitting just the bare minimum of AC and then max damage. Uh, I will also tell you, with that attack that you just did, you have bloodied the mimic. Yeah! Yeah! Does Shtek have an action point? So Shtek, you probably have an action point. If I you do want have to an action it. point. Why? You could, you could move and hit it again. Yes. A classic action point thing to do. Because mm. <laughs> you haven't moved yet. I haven't moved, yeah. but like, I don't, if I'm, I can stay where I am and attack it again, or I can move closer and use my melee. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing the keep, melee. Keep in mind that, um, although he's not under my divine sa sanction this time, he will probably be next time. Also, yes. I mean, many of you have not been hit yet. Health is a team resource. Uh, yeah. and it's better for me if you all, the, all go near the mimic. Uh, so. Yeah, but yeah. I'm really strong, so you know I'm I'm gonna use yeah. my action point. I'm and... really strong, and I'm very smart. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm the best. And people like me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, swinging with my great sword, risking it being uh, syruped into the mimic. Mm -hmm. That's a twenty-six versus AC. Plus two for plus two. two. Keep forgetting that. Many. Thank you. Why don't you roll damage? Because I bet your greatsword is much better than the little daggers you've been chucking at the mimic. Uh, where's my d10? <laughs> There's one of my eight d10s, apparently. Eight d10? That's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, 14 damage. All right. Uh, I will say that by using all your daily powers at once, you now have a chance to survive this battle. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, because you super nerf this mimic, which is a super deadly threat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kroka. Okay, um, so let's see where it is. We're going to have... Do you have something where your alligator turns into a robot and kills a mimic? Um, I don't... I, is that, uh, is yes, I cast necessary? that. That, yeah. the, yes. the uh, crocodile Mechagator. turns into a robot uh, mech. Daily now, power. we're going to have um, Bash um, come up into flanking, which granted is just combat advantage, but that's going away at the end of this turn. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and, you know, this mimic keeps grabbing people, so uh, Bash is going to try and grab him. Okay. Uh, that is 27. The alligator. <laughs> What's 27, you said? Oh. Yes, 27. That will... All right, you t- it, Bash, like, grabs the arm of the statue. Yeah, Does that like, do damage? Like, like, a pseudopod, like, reaches out yeah. to try and grab him, and he just bites it. It's like, what? Okay, um, so that is going to be... Yes, exactly like that. Um, so that is going to be 13 damage. Um, and the creature is grabbed, which will be a escape DC of 13, but I'm going to action point and use crushing jaws. Oh no. Does Bash have an action point, or it's your action point? It's my action point, so I spend my, um actions through got bash. it it's it. different from bear so i like um, I, thank you yeah <laughs> uh, ridic- jane you have a rich tapestry a rich menagerie of animals in our D right. experiences uh, yep that's so, a reference so, to a different D party not that's available not available as a podcast <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes, sorry. That is that Listeners is, I was... interested in that can come to my house. <laughs> yes, yes. That's that a legally an binding honest... uh, statement. That's canon. It's true. It's true. Uh, um, so so Bash grabs the pseudopod and then like grinds his teeth. Is that what's happening? C- correct. Um, so <laughs> that little like dro- drops <laughs> of pseudopod flesh kind of come uh. out through the through the sides of his mouth. Um, and that's an additional ten damage uh, auto hit. All right, this looks bad for the uh, the mimic. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Yep. All right. We like that. Okay, M- that is Mella. my turn. I will hold aloft my orb. Sounds and like you. Cast magic <laughs> missile at it. All right. How much force damage are we talking about? Eight. All right. Unlike his beloved robot scorpion friend. That does not heal the uh, the mimic. And then, oh, this of course is uh, a special orb, the orb of inevitable hmm, something. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the character sheet cuts off. Something yep. is inevitable. So I'm going to use this daily power it has. Trigger: You hit an enemy with an attack made with this orb. C mm-hmm. magic missile. Effect: One of your powers that is due to end at the end of this turn instead lasts until the end of your next turn. Is that oh, the immobilizing? Uh, yeah, we're going to keep the maze of mirrors going, so it's going to stay immobilized and with a minus four to attack until the end of my next turn. All next. right, carry on. Amazing. Oh, um, and and my effect expired at the end of my turn, so it's not granted combat advantage anymore. Okay, no more uh, locus. Peter. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to attack. Now, since my sword was unstuck last time, I'm going to mm-hmm. attack with th- at that this time. Uh, 26 versus AC. Yeah. That'll do it. All right. Uh, this is the Majestic Halo, which is, uh, it's, it's, it's Hello. shiny. Is it it's too bad Fles is not here. Fall? There's a lot, of, a lot of dice rolling over there. I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Why can't we see those dice, Jason? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I just kept, I kept re-rolling. It's, uh, it's 22 Uh-oh. damage. Did I drop by? Wow. What? And That's a big uh, it's under my divine sanction uh, until the end of the encounter. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on. All right, R- Rizwin, the uh, the mimic looks like it's in bad shape. Yay. I'm going to make well, it I mean, in worse that's... shape. L- literally, okay. it was a statue and we've wanged it up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, I'm going to use my, uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to use my minor to sustain the uh, moment of glory. We're having oh, multiple moments now, so of glory. Now, yeah, now it's like a minute of glory. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody gets 15 minutes, right? Um, and I'm going to sacred flame it again. Okay. And see if I can actually hit it this time. All right, so I got to check the reflex of it, right? Ha <laughs> uh, uh, Yes, and it did not hit. I'm going to take oh. my action point and do it again. Classic. 23 versus it's reflex. Re- uh, its reflex is twenty four, but does the no. hall of mirrors does the hall of mirrors help? Nope. Oh, it doesn't reduce the. Uh, no, it was ah. the cloud of insects that was uh, helping us hit it. 
Curses. Uh, Shield of Faith. Nope. Moment of Glory. Nope. This is all healing stuff and... <laughs> you want well, you don't want to heal the mimic. That would be a real turn of events. Well, you're yeah, a cleric. A you're gonna have of some of that. <laughs> um, well, I'm sad that I can't scrounge up an extra point. All right. Oh, well. So the mimic is going to take its what I expect will be its final turn. It's going to do a multi pseudopod attack where it's going to attack everybody that is adjacent to it. However, it is oh. taking a minus four from mirrors, maze of yep. mirrors. And I believe it's going to take damage for attacking people who aren't Peter. Yes, it is. Boom. It includes Peter in this attack. Well, I don't know if the is the rule uh, ha attacks have to include Peter, or is the rule cannot attack anyone but Peter? They have to include Peter. Oh, well. Carry on, then. Uh, flanking doesn't affect reflex, right? Uh, no, it would, because it, flanking yeah. gives you combat advantage. Wait. Um, oh, but I if I'm not flanking, but it is flanked. Yes. It because is fine. Then yes. I think there's a feat that you could take where, as a spellcaster, you would get combat advantage when other people are flanking it. But it's uh, yeah, you're not the fl one of the flankers. So Tony, well, so, the, way, the way this works is that it has to be a, an attack that includes me. If it attacks multiple times and some of those attacks don't include me, they will take damage. Okay, so that's gonna happen. So uh, let's have it attack you first. Um, so uh, we're gonna do some math in here. Ugh, also, he he may want to save for uh, alligator. <laughs> he's got to save at the end of his turn, right? Yeah. All right. Well, that's assuming he makes it to the end of his turn since he's going <laughs> to provoke people. Uh, I, all right. We're going to do this math, even though it's pathetic. That would be 15 versus AC. You have imposed a minus four on it. So it's 11 versus AC yeah. is not going to hear, hit um, uh, Peter Dragonforge. Correct. So that was great. Um I think we're going to go for Shastek next. Uh, that would be <laughs> 24 versus AC, but uh, you've imposed a minus four, so 20 versus AC, Shastek? Uh, to clarify, the plus mm. two to AC bonus was for our attacks on the monster no, or for no, our own no, AC? No. Protection. For, for so you. So I have 20 versus AC, but with this I have 22, which means it doesn't hit. Correct? It yes. does not hit, and it provoked Peter. Yeah, so we now take seven <laughs> radiant damage. It does not like that. Uh, finally, it's going to attack Bash. Not do you Bash! Have the, do you have the armor class for Bash handy, Kroka? I do. Plus two. So, that would be 23 versus AC, but minus four is 19 versus AC. I feel like alligators are, like, made of armor, basically. How is Bash? Yeah, so normally that would hit him, except that he's rocking a cool 21 right now. Woo! So, wow. uh, yeah. And he's fine. It, uh, uh, Peter, <laughs> I Seven don't... radiant damage. Can it provoke multiple <laughs> times? Or is know. it a reaction? Uh... Uh, the first time. You're right. The first time. No seven radiant damage the next time. All right. The first so time each the, round. The, just imagine this statue is flailing around and pseudopods are lashing out. Unfortunately, they don't hit anything, but it looks really cool. <laughs> um, Shastek, this statue is staggering. Uh, one good attack will take it down. Will you stab at this mimic? So when I did my sword last time, was it syruped onto the mimic? Uh, yeah, give me uh, an athletics check, AC 15, to get it out. So, is that an action? Uh, it's your move action, I believe. Move a So that can be my move action and I can attack after? Yes. Yeah. Alright, athletics. Gotta beat 15. I Crap, I got 12. Um, Let me ask you a question. How many daggers do you have? <laughs> uh, so my <laughs> dagger is a ranged attack. You can, means, you can you can melee basic a uh, 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 you can melee basic a uh, I can, uh, a mimic. It right, just I'm isn't going to do much damage with my dagger. Yeah, that's twenty eight versus AC. <laughs> All right, please roll damage. Please do more than two damage to this mimic. <laughs> that's eight damage. Woo! The mimic, your dagger Yay. sticks into it, and it's all ugh, acidy and sludgy, and the, the statue is, like, flailing around. All these pseudopods are, are lashing out, and then it kind of, like, clumps in on itself and just turns into, like, a little dense sphere on the ground. This is a dagger you see before you. It coughs several daggers out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
needed this back. <laughs> you have defeated the mimic. That Woo! was a uh, wow. Ooh. Good. I mean, you did that well. That was a level seven elite lurker, uh, and I was expecting I was going to have to like you know kind of go soft with some things, and I did not do that. So uh, that was a very powerful monster that you totally whooped. That was so. good buffing and debuffing. I think that yeah. was really, really good. well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we? Uh, did did it cough at anything else besides daggers? <laughs> Uh, it coughs out. 40 yeah, it, it it kind of dissolves, uh, and there does seem to be basically uh, for some reason it, you know it now occurs to you that all the the stuff on the floor behind the statue was basically stuff that the mimic uh, didn't seem interested in eating. It seemed to be for some reason uh, like leathery things were not its uh, its forte. Uh, it does seem to have a variety of uh, it, and it just kind of like sloths into slime, and you can see kind of like probably what it had in its horrible little belly. Uh, mm. There is. Uh, you know, some armor and some uh, weapons that are had been in there a lot longer than the dagger, uh, so they're all corroded and useless. Um, but there are, uh, you know, I'm going to say there's uh, there's 30 gold pieces in there and several sets of bones. Sweet. Bones. Yeah. Sets <laughs> of bones. Mm. Yeah. Any cool bones? Well, I mean, you know, they're the remains of people, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Can I tell Kirk what takes of one just from the yeah. bones? They look, they look, like, yeah. Well, you suspect there's some elves and some dwarves in here. Okay. And one kobold statue. None of them or look statue? like Alestrian's Skeleton. bones, right? No, he's got very willowy bones. Those would have been mm. eaten up right away. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> so. Is now a good time to sit and rest? I am going to see. Healing searches back? You could take a short rest. I'm going to tell you that you do not get to take a long rest this adventure. Okay. Because you are concerned about where your friends are, and that you're in a very dangerous part of Undermountain, and you think you need to press on. But mm. you can spend a short rest, and you do have healing abilities. I do. Uh, I don't have too many healing surges left, but if anybody wants to use one, I'm happy to boost it. You have healing word, right? I have healing word. Mm -hmm. Can I use this short rest to try to turn some of the mushrooms I collected earlier into some sort of medicine? Uh, they seem like they would be the ingredients to medicine, but you would need like other ingredients as well. Can the other ingredients so. be other mushrooms? Yes, ones that you don't have. Uh, what's my <laughs> What's my? If I take a healing surge, what am I getting from uh, from you as an extra? A six. Okay. How bad off are people? Um, I am down twelve hit points, so I'm actually going to take one as well. Brian, uh, save those mushrooms to make soup with in case we run across a goblin baby. Yes. Refer reference <laughs> acknowledged. Also a traumatic shock. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, that's a... Uh, I'm at max. I'm at max HP. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine too. Great. I am now back to max HP. Because that we buffed that thing so much that it only really got to hit me one time. Yay. So you've you've taken some time to catch your breath. Uh, you know, this is probably as safe a horrible, unsafe room as any, and that it was set up to be some kind of little campsite. Uh, you've gotten wow. some healing words in. You've rested. Yeah, um, investigating the books. Uh, this there's a, a bookshelf over here, but it mainly seems to have like weird, dusty relics. There's a series <laughs> of like archery trophies. Uh, they're all kind of like <laughs> small and not very impressive, and for like very low level of award like 17th place oh i i grab one of those <laughs> okay i want yeah. a 17th place archery trophy Croca wants you didn't one even too. earn a seven you have a stolen 17th place archery trophy oh, i don't want it for me i'm going to give it to a Lestrin at some point where he makes a shot <laughs> yes okay <laughs> please please make note on your character sheet that you have a 17th place archery trophy done amazing the uh the little statue of the uh character holding the bow on top of you know they're they're made to look very generic but there's just a, like a little bit of an illustrian look to them, you Perfect. know. So, yeah. Crocus do you wish, snaps. Do you want to disparage any of your other comrades who may be dying under a rock slide somewhere else? It's a trophy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Fair do enough. we do we want to um, look? At, do we want to go back on the hallway, or are our lizard people entranced by this uh, this marshy stuff? I don't know if I'd say that Kroka is entranced, but she would like to at least investigate what's going on in there, um, because it seems like if we're trying to search all over, um, we should search over there. Is Bash, <laughs> is Bash or Kroka or Shtek uh, particularly stealthy? <laughs> no. Might be able to scout? 
Um, so how deep is this water? Because Bash can swim pretty fast. It looks like the there's water. some pretty deep water in the kind of flooded uh, hallway beyond this hole in the wall. Okay. So um, Bash can't communicate to me using language, but I can at least send him in as sort of a scout and see if there's anything dangerous okay. going on through there. So um, I'm going to have him uh, slip down into this murky water um, and sit. I'm going to say um, he's going to stay kind of close to the surface so that if he gets into combat, I can see that it's happening. All right. Uh, Bash uh, drops into the pool and starts swimming across. Uh, so it's kind of a flooded tunnel and the water is all swampy and full of plant life. Um, and uh, two crocodiles bob to the surface, or I guess, sorry, two alligators <laughs> bob to the surface near Bash. Oh, uh, or do they become hostile to him? No. Nope. He's also an alligator. Yep. Uh, and Bash can see that this little flooded tunnel takes a turn to the south, and it looks like there's some rubble and maybe an entrance to a cave to the southeast. Um... <laughs> This is probably the weirdest thing I've ever said in Dungeons and Dragons, but wow. can my alligator befriend the other alligators? <laughs> uh, what is your? Can you roll a diplomacy check through Bash? Um, let's see. I have a. Uh, well, I have his charisma. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. I guess he's kind of an awkward alligator, but. He's We've all been there. Me, so that makes sense. Okay, so <laughs> that's going to be a four. He goes to <laughs> AA meetings. Uh, the alligators Awkward seem alligators. Con- yes. The, the alligators <laughs> seem a little confused by Bash. I liked it. <laughs> um, Hi, I'm Bash. Hi, <laughs> Bash. Pretty bash. Please don't <laughs> attack anyone who comes <laughs> through this hallway. Uh, sorry, what was that, Jane? Um... So can Kroka see that there are other alligators there? Yeah, I mean, do you? you know, so you, he's not a spirit alligator, so you don't see through Bash, but you can, no, I, you can I see, don't see through can, his eyes. But you recognize the familiar form of some alligators have uh, swum to the surface of this flooded tunnel. <laughs> well, Bash is like awkwardly trying to make small talk with them. <laughs> yeah. So, do you like water? <laughs> <laughs> so Kroka's like, how about these swamps? <laughs> Kroka's like, uh. Swamps this way, you can go around a corner, I think, uh, and there are other alligators. Well, alligators aren't great for us. Bash is fine, but, but I'm concerned I that mean, they'll chomp us. I mean, yes, but uh, there is a, the hallway continues. This is not a dead end. Did we investigate the other doors first? It's up to you. Works for me. Can Kroka see anything to the left or right of the uh, of the lake area here? Uh, it's just kind of a flooded tunnel, so there's it's just oh. a straight shot. Ah, uh, okay. So, when so, in doubt, so, if you see blackness, that is, you know, the edge of the map. Mm-hmm. So, Bash will rejoin Kroka. Kroka's okay. like, okay, if we don't want to look what's down there, we can keep going. All right. All right. Pe- Peter's going to go investigate the other door. The other alligators are just swimming around. Uh, Peter, yeah. you're going to open this door? <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to investigate it first. It. It's quiet. Okay, let's open the door. All right, I need one of, you, one of you to move back so I can hit the tile. <laughs> oh, God, there's a cat in there. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, this, there's a weird little octagonal room, and it is clogged with huge spider webs. Celestrian would not like this. So, you've opened the door into this room clogged with spider webs. Will our adventurers be killed by what is clearly a room full of giant spiders, or will they be afraid and close the door and run away? Find out next time on the next episode of Total Party Kill! Total Party Kill!